today we will be learning the very iconic Annamacharya Kirtana Sriman Narayana in the Ragam Bhauli set to Aditala. Bhauli is a Audava Shadava Ragam. So it is a Janyam of Maya Malagole. All of you are familiar with Maya Malagole. Five notes going up and six notes coming down is what Bhauli is. So let's go and see what the Arohanam Avarohanam of Bhauli is. So, so in the Arohanam it has dropped out the Ma and the Ni of Maya Malagole. On the return. So it includes the Ni while coming back in the Avarohanam. But the ma is dropped out. I'll play the Aravanam Aravanam once again. When you come to the da, just tighten your two fingers and slightly push it behind, very slightly, to bring out that strength that da is all about, you know. The Suddha Daivatan is a very strong note. By listening to the tone of how I'm playing, you should understand the amount of pressure that you give. Too much of pressure will break it out. So, give two oscillations to the knee, just two, not more than that. The flat, ba, the again oscillated, then connect ga to re, sa. This, this kind of connecting and oscillating and all will give you an idea about what the ragam is about. Bauli is a very strong raga, raga which can bring out the strength of emotions of the Sahityam. And like in the case of this Kirtana where you just, you know, the Pallavi has only Sriman Narayana three times repeated. And the strength of that, that uh, name, Narayana, Sriman Narayana, is so well brought out by the Raga. So let's go and check the Pallavi, Adi Talam. It is in, the Pallavi starts in Sama. <coughs> Shriman Narayana, Shriman Narayana, Shriman Narayana, Me Shripada, Me Charanam. This is going to be a Pallavi repeated twice or thrice over. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with my teaching methodology, just observe the notation that is coming here on the screen. It is very important for you to before even start learning the Kirtane to place the Sahityam correctly at the points of the Talam. First beat, where is Sri Man, Sri, how much, how many notes does it take, how many matras does it have, Man, then Narayana, how many matras from Narayana and so on. So the, the notations will give you that idea. Why this idea is required is because to, when you start making Sangatis, then you will know that this is the space that you have. So many matras. Shreemanna, Shreemanna. It's one and a half beat, six notes. Shreemanna, Shreemanna. So you, you use only six notes for that one and a half beats of Shreeman. Whenever you, you're going and uh, going back and doing your Sangatis. Shreeman, Narayana, Shreem. Narayana is two and a half beats and that is equal to ten notes. So 10 notes you can maneuver Narayana through. So these are the kind of calculations that you must observe, understand and keep in your head before you start to, uh, playing your Kirtane. So that you know Sangatis come out effortlessly. At the end of the day what are Sangatis? Sangatis are being able to weave through your Ragam to get that word out but in the space of the Thalam that has already been assigned for it. Now what has been assigned for it is observed in the very first Sangati. Please do that so that your Sangati building will get stronger. Tomorrow even you know when you have to do Neravils, when you have to do your Kalpana Swarams, you know this is the space you have in the Talam for doing such uh, you know such an activity, such a creative activity and within that space you will have to maneuver. This will keep your Talam really tight and going. So the Pallavi <coughs> Shri Manarayana Sa Sa I am taking the Sa Sa on the second string deliberately Why not on the first string because When you play Sa Sa on the first string it, it is so flat Devoid of any emotion And it, the sound falls down 
So, but when you are doing it on the second string, you get the depth of the, uh, the, the, the second string as well as you will have some emotion to it because you can shake the string a little bit. See there and then we are bringing it from Da. So the frequency of Da is also mixed with the Sa. sa. Narayana Vega Ga Ga You can also play it as Sa Re Ga 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 So adding or subtracting notes here and there is quite possible. Again for those of you who are able to make these please post it in the comment section so that, that others can also benefit with your different ideas. In this, I am going to say sa, sa, on the second string. Then Narayana will be Re, Ga, Ga, Ga. Re, two strikes in Re, one for Re and one to go to Ga. Re, Ga, Nara, Ya, Na. The next Ga, Ga, Ya, Na will be Ga, Ga. You can either play it with split fingers as Chandavar, say, or dashing it from the previous note without the previous note being heard. You must be very clear that you cannot bring in an Anyaswaram and uh, you know uh, pollute the, the ragam. The ragam has its, the purity of the ragam has to be maintained. See to it that the other notes are not heard when you are doing your gender verses. <laughs> Sa vi ga 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 Shri manna rayana Kapa gari Kapa one strike Gari one strike Shri manna rayana Kapa dapa Ga to pa is a connect Kapa Double strike in ga, one for ga and one to go to pa. Yana, yana will be the pa. Shriman. Ga pa da sa. To be played as ga pa da da sa. Why do you add this kind of micro tones, one extra da there? To bring the richness out, to bring the vocal nature of the song. One or two notes within the scope of the talam can be added to get the vocals of the song out. Ga one strike. Pada dasa one strike. Shaman. That pada dasa please see to it that when you come to da, you to do two shakes of the da. Shaman narayanane sa Na of the Narayana, you have to emphasize Narayana ne Sa sa ni da pa pa So you can take the sa from pa And then sa ni Na la That sa ni is in one strike Da pa pa Ya na ne in janda varasai, you can use the janda varasai mode of the fingers or the slashing mode where the previous note is not heard. Again, Shriman Ga Pada Dasa Ga strike, Pada Dasa one strike, Na Ta Yana Ne Sa of the Nara and Ne Sa, the Na will go from Pa to Sa. Sani one strike. Ra da pa pa ya na ne. Shri pa da me charana. Can go from ga da ga da pa da pa. Shri Gada one strike. Pa one strike. Dapa one strike. Shri Pada 
Gada pa da pa of which gada is one strike, pa is one strike, and da pa is one strike. Nothing else. It's just a matter of keeping the no the right notes silent. Shri gada the e karam a karam is going into the da, so the da is silent. Pa, you have to strike the pa for that pa. The the pa with the pa silent. Me chagarna da pa gari is a ga is one strike. Pa is one strike. Gari is one strike and sa one strike. Watch this. Shri pa da me chagarna da da pa da pa ga pa gari sa. Once again, how to play this? Gada, I'm doing one strike. Pa, I'm doing one strike. Da pa, one strike. And then I go to ga. Da pa, da re sa. Now the timeline, the tala line is there in the notation. Observe exactly how many matras each one of these notes are taking. Play exactly like that. Now there's another technique by which you say ga da pa da pa shi pa da. The da instead of going to da itself can be played in pa. I push the da in pa. Pa da. The rest of it can be how I told you. But this is the first sabati I played. Feel the movement of the Sahityam Shri Shri Man Narayanani. Now, for all of that, the initial practices will have to be very perfect. It should be a very knowing practice, a very understanding practice, which is why I keep emphasizing on these small things that you have to observe. Observing is very important. Pre preparing is very important before you start doing it. And once you put it all together, you can just cherish and enjoy the beauty of the, the ragam, the song, the meaning, so much to enjoy along with of course the talam. Now the second sagati is I'm trying to keep the uh, Sangatis of this particular song a little more simple, not too much of rolling, too much of filling and jamming it because this is a strong, that's the strength of the ragam and the sahityam. If you have to show, you should not jam it with a lot of notation. That is my personal feeling. I like to keep the strength there, out there, without, you know, mm, throttling it up with lots of notes. Just here. Shri man. Dasari Dasari on the second string in one strike with the reed pushed in sa itself. Then Sani Da again on the second string, one strike. Come to the first string and say Sa Da Sa you strike. Rega is one strike. Ga Ga two strikes. Then Shri 
ಬಂಗ್ನಾರಾಯಣ್ಣ ಗಪದ ಬಗರಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಪದ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಕ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪುಷ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪಾ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದು ಕೆನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿನ ಪಾ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪಾ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಮೋರ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಚ್ ದಿಸ್ I'll play this uh, once again. Kapada Pagari Shreeman Kapada the da played in pa one strike. Pagari Shreeman Dada Yana Dada Dada Shreeman I told you earlier also, ga one strike, pada dasa one strike. When you come to the pada, the, the two das, you just shake the da twice. That will pick up the two daivatans. Narayana, like we did in the first uh, sangati, I am not changing that at all. Sa sa ni da da pa pa. ಇಟ್ pa you strike and gari is one strike followed by a strike for the sa i'm going to play both of these sangatis back to back the first one and the second one sangati twice that will be the end of your pallavi if you are uh, making any more extra sangatis do write it in the comment section for others to take help from now how do you you need to round it up you need to finish off the pallavi in a nice manner before you go into your other pallavi so what you do shriman narayana signs of say garisa you say gari ga shri man narayana ne shri pada me charanam to wait for all of this na na ga pada pagari so ga pada pa one strike gari one strike sa and then wait for the talam to come to the first beat before you go into your adha pallavi the adha pallavi is starting in kal edka that is after two matras kamala sati mukha kamala kamala hita kamala priya kamale ekshana ಕಮಲ ಸತಿ ಮುಖ ಕಮಲ ಕಮಲ ಹಿತ ಕಮಲ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕಮಲೇ ಕ್ಷಣ ಕಮಲ ಸನ ಹಿತ ಗರುಡ ಗಮನ ಶ್ರೀ ಕಮಲ ನಾ ಬನಿ ಪದ ಕಮಲ ಮೇ 
Chatvarnam Shri Manna. And when you go back to Shri Manna Rayana, remember that you are going back into the Samam again. You start your Anupallavi after two notes, Kal Edip. In the first beat, you leave two notes and start with the next two notes. Then you look at the notation, watch, observe keenly the notation and take it accordingly so that your Talam does not get messed up. Kamala Sati Mukha Gapagari Gapadapa Now I just read off the notation for you. But you will have to get the song from the Kamala Sati Mukha Now that will mean for Vainikas a very important thing is to bring out, put, up, put the right techniques there on these notes such that you hear and you play the output is the song and not the notes. So what do you do? Gapagari Kama You have to hear Kamala All three needs to be heard. Ga you strike, Pa you strike and for the Gari it is one strike. Kamala so now how do you hold your hand to get the The pa needs to be pushed back a little with the strength of the two fingers. The two fingers need to tighten a little bit. Don't press the string up down too much. Just tighten your two strings in such a way that you will So ga one strike, pa one strike and gari is one strike. Sati mukha so when you see, you hear a kind of a silent note that is walked into the da pa. And when you go do the da pa, before you strike the da, take a silent da into da. I'm waiting in pa and then I go silently into da before I strike the actual da. So this silent da is going to give that lilting, uh, you know, emotion to Sati Mukha. So these are the small techniques that need to be employed. This is a very vocal instrument. You need to get the vocals out of the instrument through these kind of small techniques. Observing these small techniques, bringing, bringing them into your hands. Kamala Da Pa Pa You do the Da Pa Pa by pushing the Da in Pa from Ga So mixing of frequencies is another technique that you will have to master to again bring out the Raga Bhava the, the Sahitya emotion and so on So here Da Pa Pa Da is played in Pa that itself is a mixing of frequency and I'm going to push that da into pa from ga. So ga, da, pa. Three notes are involved just for that one note da. Then you have another kamala coming. Kamala hita. Da, pa, 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 ga. Push the, again, you have to push the da from ga. Once more, the mixing of frequencies. It's almost repetition of the first kamala. Is a paga. Watch this. Twice I am striking pa. Pa flat. The first pa is flat. For the second pa, I am jumping on the pa a little to go to ga. Push the pa a string a little bit behind. Strike and go to ga. Once again. Kamala Priya Kapada All struck separately Kamala Priya Sa Sa Ni Ni Da Pri That Sa is going from the Sa Ni Ni Da in one strike Kama da palekshana Kapa pa da palekshana pa da 
So this on the notation you can write even gapada, but while playing you have to play it as check the part wise gapada. And then you have six notes here. One the eighth beat and the two notes of the first beat for you to do an akar gapa garisa gapa garisa. There is a space that you can fill with the akaram because it brings out the raga bhavam very well. Gappa gari in one strike with the pa pushed in ga itself. Take your finger out. When you take your finger out, just strike the re a little bit and you get your sa. So there you have a one and a half beat vacant. So how do you keep that taller and move to the next line? Takita should be remembered in your head. Takita. That was your second line. So what I am trying to tell is between the first line and the second line of the Anupallavi, there is a one and a half beat gap of the eighth beat and the half beat of the first beat for which in the first time when we played you said ah, 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 ah. you filled it up now you are not going to fill up when you are going to the second line you are going to wait there so Double strike, Paga one strike, Sa 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 Nahita. This first Sa is going from the once again Kamala Sa Nahita, Paga double strike in Pa, then La Pada one strike. Sana. The first sa is going from da sa sa and then hita. Jandavar sai. All of you who are very familiar with double, uh, with the uh, uh, splitting fingers, do it. The others who are not, take it from the previous notes. See that the texture is created for the jandavar sai. Garuda gamana shri. Can you see the strength of the wording and the song that you will have to bring out? Sarisa play the Garuda. Sarisa is played in Sa itself. Since Re is the very next note, please don't push it too much behind because it's going to not bring out the correct frequency of Re. So just a simple push behind. Garuda Dramana Sasari. She Sariga play it like Sari Riga. So by now you know the concept of that one extra note that will give that richness. Once again. remember if you are going to take the pa in ga you should see that you don't get the frequency of ma like it should be again fingers tight this is the only way that you can bring out notes that are spreading out further away from where you are playing ga 
pa has three notes after ga so if you have to bring out the pa in ga tighten your fingers put it on ga and say pallavi the second uh, cha, pallavi variations uh, that we did sahityam variation uh, you take that come and finish and say na na ga like how we have to always finish tie the knot up really cleanly na ga re ga pa ga sa ni da pa 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 re ga pa da sa in one strike Nida one strike pa pa ga two strikes re sa ni da sa all the time keeping in mind the arohanam avarohanam because in the uh, arohanam you don't have a ma and any you don't have a ma at all so it doesn't matter but you don't have a ni so you should, do, should see to it that you don't play dani sa play da sa ni is fine dani sa is just not fine when you're playing bahudi so you start the next charna with two beats two beats off just like how we did the the pallavi parama yogi jana bhagya deya shri parama purusha parat parda परम योगी जन भाग्य देय श्री परम पुरुष परात्मा परमात्मा परमानुरूप श्री तिरुवेकटगिरि देव चरण 
So you should observe the notations very clearly with clarity. You start the charanam with two notes off, but when you end the charanam and go to your pallavi, you have to go to sum up. So how uh, it has been placed in the uh, uh, sahityam in the notation as connected to the notation. Please check. Observing and pre-preparing is the key to success of playing a song with talam, with bhavam, with understanding of the ragam, all of this. All of this happens with a kind of a pre-preparation. The effort that I put into uh, keeping giving the notations here is definitely a lot. Uh, you wouldn't even believe how much time it takes for me to do all of this editing, putting the uh, uh, notation with the video. But it is to see that uh, uh, all of you learn it, you know, with everything attached correctly. A lot of complaints that I get these days from these days from days when I started teaching is thalam is not okay. Thalam definitely will not be okay if you have not observed how it matches with the sahitya. So please be very aware of of how how the thalam is matched by reading the notation carefully. Parama Yogi Jana Resa Riga Ga 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 Parama Play striking all three notes. Just the re needs to get a little bit of a grab, you know, grip. That grip is coming only from the finger, not by, you know, cutting your fingers into the string. Please don't do that. See that you just tighten your two fingers when you put them lightly on the uh, uh, string. And this should also not be too loud. The strike should be medium strength. Jandai again. Get the texture out of the jandai by doing the, the uh, split finger or the dashing method. Gari ga pa pa gari one strike. Ga one strike. Gari ga. From ga you strike and connect to pa. Pa pa. Gari ga pa pa ba gadeya. Shri. That she can come from ga. Parama Purusha Papada Papada And then Da should drop down to Ga. Again, once again. Shri Parama Purusha She is just the Pa going from Ga. Parama Gapada Please push the dha in pa itself. All three notes are struck, but the da is taken in pa itself. Padraman Purusha Papa Dapaga. Strike both like Janda Varasai. Sha. In one strike, in pa itself, you play the pa. First beat two notes like you did in the previous uh, uh, charnam or Anupalavi, you can call it. There you play that Gapa Gadesa Parama Yogi Jana. Paramatma Paga Padasa Paga double strike it pa Then Padasa 
Mother one strike and Sa one strike. Paramatma. See? That combination, that ga is getting a, the frequency of pa. So, double strike in pa. To say para. Matma. Ma. Pada. One strike. Ma. Sa. One strike. Parama. Sasa going from da. Manu rupa. Sadi. Oh, both of them struck. And from ri you go to ga. Rupa. And when you are doing the rupa for the ga ga, take it from ri. Push the re inside. The re is taking the brunt of the uh, 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 sound of ga. So, rupa shri tiru giri That shri dash it from re to ga. That one note ga shri but the ga is going from re. Ga, take the pa in ga itself. Swing the ga in such a way. You don't have to cut your fingers for this. You just need to tighten your fingers and say Ga pa, both you have to strike the ga and the pa that is swinging in ga itself. And then the gari is one strike. Double strike in sa. One for sa and one to go to ni. So it is a, a long uh, silent note phrase it is. Kapadasani has to happen in one strike. Watch this. The strike has to be a little strong when it starts in ga. You must understand when you are doing a string of uh, notes in one strike, somewhere in between you have to give one more shape to see that the wave, the string is still jumping. The minute the string falls off, it goes flat, sound cannot be heard. So many of you have this complaint, oh I am not able to get a big phrase as a, in a single strike. That is because you stop somewhere. Any one of the note, you just press your hand on the string. The string will go flat. After that, the sound cannot be heard. So, you should see. See, I am pushing the pa. So, it is the pushing pa that is keeping me going up till. Sani. Kamada sani. Veva. Chana. And then Kamada sani. And then you say the pa. That dapa is struck. That is the deva. Wow, of the deva. Deva. Chanadam. Kapapa. Garisa. Kapapa. Just shake the part twice like this. One strike. Gari. One strike. Sa. Deva. Chanadam. Deva is a very uh, crucial piece of uh, technique that you are learning in one strike, quite a few notes. And then one strike, one strike, and sa. And then Sriman Narayana will be there on the uh, summer. So let me play this charnam, the whole thing. Ta
Pada saat sasang Saya pegang Nah, gak apa-apa Gapa gari Sangida These are all the last things I played as an alakna to finish it off. Quite a few of you while uh, uh, listening to the tutorial must be thinking, oh, she missed out one sagati. Paramatma Paramano Rupa Shri Tegare Deva Paramatma So I am leading that sangati where you are saying Paramatma Paramano Rupa Shri Tegare Deva Paramatma. So you can wait at the Deva for four beats, four and a half beats and then pick up Paramatma again. So I would like all of you to try that Sangati and maybe post it on the comment section. Uh, this is uh, this tutorial was meant to bring out the Ragam Bhavali and show you how Ragas are chosen by great composers to fit the, their wordings in a way that you hear not only the strength of the raga, the beauty of the raga, but the way a raga can form a bedrock to bring out that grandness, the grandeur of the sahitya. This is one great example for that. Uh, lesser uh, sangatis to put, but a greater chance to use your hand dynamics to bring out the strength. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.